Hi Taurus, it's Ellie and welcome to your reading. So let's jump straight into it. Thank you so much, my spirits, angels and guides. Please tell me what is coming towards my beautiful Taurus regarding love this week. Please show me the cards that I need to see and please show me the messages clearly. So just a reminder, this is a general reading. Please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Make sure that you watch your sun, moon, rising, and Venus to get a complete picture of what is coming towards you for the week ahead, all right? Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, and subscribed to my channel. I am so, so grateful to each and every one of you. You know, we are now at 1,200 subscribers. I really want to keep on growing, and I hope you keep on supporting my channel, all right? Your overall energy for this week is the Ace of Wands. You have the Sun, could be dealing with a Leo. The Three of Cups. And then the Nine of Pentacles, all right. You have the Four of Cups. I don't read reversals. You have the Judgment card. And then the Seven of Wands. All right. Hmm. Nice. It's actually really nice. Okay. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So, your challenge for this week, Taurus, is the Chariot. So, I do feel that there is a decision that you have to make whether or not you want to move forward. All right, whether or not you want to move forward. Definitely new passion coming in. New passion coming in, someone is going to express how passionate they are to you. This is something that the universe guided to come into your life, all right? This is a gift from the universe, this new passion of yours. Um, I'm hearing this is someone who has been really passionate about you for the longest time and this is the time that they will be expressing it that's nice this is something new well they've been liking you but this is something new not your ex like something like that all right you could be dealing with a leo not really necessarily but they can have those placements all right this is a very very happy time for you very happy time i'm hearing because you are manifesting everything that you've been asking for from the universe for the longest time that you've waited this is the time that you are manifesting everything all right i'm hearing it started like about a few four weeks ago four months ago it started you started really um getting in the groove of how you're go how you are manifesting things okay you are very abundant very expansive at this time and really happy because you are happy, all right? I love that you're happy. Okay. So you have the Three of Cups here to the Judgment card. Definitely, definitely there is someone who wants to, someone from your past, all right? Someone from your past is one thing to come back in. Um, this is something that your soul tribe will not support you on, I'm hearing. This is... The judgment card is uh, the judgment card is something that uh, it's about second chances. All right, this is something that your soul tribe knows that this that really that relationship never really did work, and your soul tribe will not support you on this. Although your support your your soul tribe would support you on something new, I'm hearing very clearly they would support you on something new. But if this is someone from the past who has really hurt you and they've seen you hurt. Am I talking too loudly or am I talking too fast? I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. If this is something that in the past that really hurt you and they saw you hurt, this is something that they will not support if it comes back around. Okay. Definitely you will have your soul tribe support with someone new, but you know, someone from your past, not really. All right. I'm hearing this new passion this person who is very passionate of yours is going to break your 
you know, your single bubble, your singleness bubble. You are in a bubble right now, wanting to be single, want to, wanting to be alone. You're actually really fine on your own, I'm hearing. You are actually really fine on your own. You are, you have worked really, really hard on your, you know, stability financially, emotionally, mentally, okay? You've worked on your money, on yourself. And you're actually really good on your own, but something, someone really wants to burst your bubble. Someone, not burst your bubble in a bad way, but like someone really wants to come in, all right? Someone really wants to come in. I'm hearing you're pretty defensive about people coming into your life. That's, that's normal when you've been hurt in the past, you know? That's normal that we, we tend to become a little bit more defensive, but yes uh i'm hearing this is this is new passion all right that that one wand all right that one wand is the ace of wands that's nice very passionate towards you let's see the overall outcome of this spread what is the overall outcome please what is the overall outcome You have nice okay the overall outcome is the nine of wands the nine of cups and then the ace of cups it's definitely a wish coming true all right um i feel that you're actually very guarded uh with people coming towards you and that is fine you have been heavily wounded but you are a survivor all right i'm hearing you are a survivor the destiny's child song just came up <laughs> okay so definitely new love coming in something you really wish for as i said it's really something that you have manifested for a very long time all right you're getting your wish granted new love coming in something that is just for you let's see the advice from spirit all right the advice from spirit is the page of wands the devil and then the eight of cups all right so you definitely have to walk away from things that are keeping you stuck the things that cannot really you know the immature energies that are coming towards you you definitely need to move away from that all right, very immature, very codependent, very obsessive. You need to walk away from that. Okay, let's see. Let's cap off your reading, Taurus, with a few oracle cards. You have playfulness. You have playfulness. Uh, you... Uh, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to f of fun to shine. All right. And then, what aspect of love do you need to focus on at this moment? What aspect of love does Taurus need to focus on? Let's see, action. You have action. So, you have the courage to express the unique love and colors of your soul gosh look at how colorful this is like it's almost the same color anyway and then the wisdom of the oracle wisdom of the oracle one card please exchanging gifts it's number 27 2 plus 7 is 9 you have a lot of nines in your reading it might resonate for you then could be a significant number for you let's see exchanging gifts mm -hmm. relationship message love is an exchange of life force energy between two beings it grows exponentially when it's reciprocated you must give and receive in order for love to flourish and abundance to flow between you Spirit wants you to start accepting all the blessings waiting for you, as well as offer the same gift in return. 
Open your heart and allow it to be filled. Let love in and let it flow out to you too. Love is truly yours today. So that definitely resonates. Okay, so I hope something in the reading resonated for you. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up. Um, I love that you would subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And please comment down below how the reading resonated for you. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. I love you all and stay blessed.